Luke Hilke is outside, um, well, we're not outside, well, at Lane we got moved on, but um, at Liverpool Street Station, West Ham Fan TV. Um, it's not good enough, Marshy, you know, and we've been well beaten today. Yeah, of course, yeah. I think the way that we set out and stuff, I think we should have, uh, you know, like Dom said, I think the three midfielders, maybe we set out to sort of copy with them. Maybe they would have had three in the midfield, obviously they didn't. I think we started the game well. I think we went toe-to-toe -to -toe with them in the first half. I think we were maybe clinging on at times when they were driving forward and we didn't really seem to have an idea what to do. But, um, yeah, listen, it's another it's another notch on the bedpost for Moyes, but going the wrong way, isn't it? Going the negative way, you know I mean? I know we've had two good performances in Newcastle and should have beaten Chelsea and Southampton. I just don't think we're, uh, to be honest with you, Marshall, I don't think we're brave enough. We're not no, no, brave enough in these games. I said We've got to be before. brave. You know, these teams yeah. are out of form. You know, Southampton went there. Yeah. They was brave. Like we went to Newcastle. We wasn't brave. You know, yeah. we. we well, you'd have thought you'd have thought that you, you know, over the course of the training sessions, you know, knuckling down, working hard. I said to you before, have we got people within the team willing to pull their socks up and work hard for this team? And we haven't really seen anybody of any real passion or commitment, desire to want to push forward. Yes, we've had some positive performances today. I think Bowen was very good. I think Kufal did okay. I think Suchek, fair play to him, is another one who go, you know, gets knocked a lot. Um, was winning headers a lot in the first half. Looked like a different player. Like we just signed him again. Um, but the difference you know. today was a little bit of quality. Yeah, do you know what the difference was? It was two poor teams, but they can score and we can't. And to win football games, you have got to score goals, and we can't. As much as you might, you know, as much as we might get in front of goal, we seem to get in front of goal. Don't know what to do with it. Or we get in front of goal, can't hit the target. We get in front of goal and make wrong decisions. And like you say, we don't. Too passive, too negative, too, you know, sideways passing, backwards passing, keep a route one up to Antonio, who by the way is about as useful as a fucking chocolate teapot, I think. Because might as well stick one of the supporters, they might as well have got one of the 3,000 geezers behind the goal who would be willing to give it a go. You know, what it's getting to now, unfortunately, is people fucking arguing with each other, people nearly coming to blows of each other, and it's not, you know, that, that's not what no club wants that, especially us, like, you know, but that's. You know, we've got to try and come out and defend this team every week when we're not playing that well. And like Dom said, you know, we're, we are waiting for a reason. And un unless we can... What can we... Realistically, though, Marshall, what can we change? Are we, we're not, it doesn't look like we're going to change the manager. No, well, that is the main problem, though. It's not the players, is it? We know we've got the players there, but it's the manager that sets the stall out. The manager picks the team. The manager oversees the training sessions, or does he? Is he, is he questions? Picking, what would you do differently? Um, I'd probably go for a second man up top. Or someone a lot closer to Antonio, or maybe not even start Antonio, Goings and Shamaka. All right, I know Shamaka never got on today, probably not 100% fit, maybe made up the numbers on the bench, I don't know. Um, substitutions made too late, very negative again. Um, a lot of the supporters, especially around where we were sitting, you know, calling for changes early. Um, but if we can see it and he can't, I really don't know. It's like he's watching a different game. Yeah. And surely there's people around him, you know, Warburton getting up a couple of times today, I noticed. Is there know. anyone brave enough around him to, to uh, tell him, you know, we yeah, need to... Yeah, probably not. You know, not. You, know to... you, you hear of scuffles on the training ground, you hear of, you know, disagreements, you know, Antonio and stuff like that. And it's, it's listen, it's it's very difficult. We have to pull our socks up and keep working. And another game on Saturday with Forrest, which is another massive game. And if we can't... I'm disappointed that we couldn't get up for this game against the Tottenham side that are not the Tottenham that we've known over the past few seasons that probably would annihilate us. They haven't had to do that today. You know, Son's come on and had a poor season so far, comes on, scores a goal. Ogbonna heads it on to Kane, they score. You know, Emerson Royale, when's he going to score another goal? So it's it's being made very easy for teams and we don't we don't get close. Like you say, we're very standoffish, we don't very passive, um, we don't seem to bereft of any ideas and that comes obviously from the top with Moyes. Um, I know that Sullivan said he wasn't going to change it, you know, manager wise who's out there. Listen, there are anyone's out there. Do you know what I mean? It's just whether we're attractive enough to get someone in of a quality that needs to like I said, what, what do we want out of a season? Do we want to kick on and be top six, seven and have the European qualification? Or do we just want to make the numbers up in this league? And that's you know that's a it's a vital thing to to be asking. But yeah, as like, that's <coughs> where we're going, mate. But look, let's leave it there. Cheers, Thank mate. Thank you very much, mate. Cheers.